Dr. Ayala, our sponsor, was researching like artists and he came across the painting Wheeling did. And because we're in the same school district, he contacted Wheeling and like that's how he got in contact with Victor, uh, who is the artist that we're working with for this mural. I went to the principal and I brought the idea to him and he asked me if there was a way to include the other clubs. And I, and I said, oh, that's a great idea. I think this would be something that we could do. We thought it would be a great idea to collaborate and give them an opportunity to express their culture via this art project. We learned about the mural during a BSU practice and my teacher, she was wanting us to come to it so we could represent our club and represent black excellence. I actually heard about the mural and the opportunity the day it was going to start. Um, we had a uh, craft and bake sale outside of the commons that day during lunch and after school. And so uh, Dr. Ayala stopped by and was like, hey, you guys should come and join our uh, mural making. And so I was like, that sounds like a great opportunity. Raising your arm, you could uh, make noises. <laughs> you could, uh, there's also another thing that you can do, for example. This, I can, uh, either one, whatever okay. they need, so that I can grab it. Oh, okay. Yes, and we will all be balanced, okay? okay. And we will all be balanced. Yeah? Good? <laughs> and then you take one of the chairs. Say yeah! Say oh! Oh! Say hey! Do the shake to the left. Do the shake to the left. No, we're not going to the wrong leg. Do the shake to the left. Wait, did you say what? My leg is so Before Victor started talking and introducing himself and everyone else, we were sort of in our own little groups. And as he started having us do like activities, he slowly had everyone like mixed together. And it wasn't like I had one friend next, like two friends next to me. It was I had someone I knew and then someone I didn't know, or someone I sort of knew, but someone who I'd never even knew existed in a way. So it was, I think it's bringing us together and we're slowly making new friends. So, uh, you know, we can think to do like the Indian person and the sari since that's a traditionally Indian outfit. So there's like um, a Hispanic clothing that like she texted me. So with that, um, we had talked to uh, someone. Jackie? I yes. Jackie about that and she said like black and red and then a kimono for like East Asian people and then she said she still hadn't figured out for like uh, African ethnic clothing and then Native American as well. So you can have someone like in a dress from Guatemala or Ecuador or those are bright like green yellow those are like dope and, and Spain would be white red yellow. So we're good with that let's keep that collective memory going because we can't be sidetracked from here on. We gotta like make this collective vision a reality from here on. The other thing to keep in mind is that these are general symbols throughout the painting. You like the big flowers? I like the big flowers. We're dealing with big issues. In order for us to be able to show that they're big flowers, we have to show medium and small flowers. All right. Otherwise, it's just a flat painting. worry about right now is that we meet at these particular junctures. See how this works? You move this over, we have a new picture. Somehow they're all going to get a blend so that they all work together. I've definitely learned a lot about other ethnicities and bonding with different people who I would have never met before. I've also learned a lot from just comments that Victor has made because he's taught us some history. We did a lot of group bonding and strength activities because to paint a mural you can't just like go in and immediately start painting it when you have to get to know each other and know our backgrounds and know why we're there so for example the tamales we got to learn about like a different type of culture that maybe not all of us have experienced before usually within this typical um, tamal it's spicy and spices come from India. The flour that we use to make the tamal, that could have come from 
Asian cultures, our own basics that we consider like our foundation of our culture, isn't really ours. We have incorporated other traditions and other cultures and other aspects of them into ours. How similar does it look to this? Very similar, but it's in a triangle shape and there's a string that wraps it and it's steep. Yeah. So minorities are looked at differently because we do look different. I'm a little darker, I have an accent, uh, all of that stuff is stuff that I cannot hide and I don't want to hide. I want people to know who I am because that identity of being different is something that I cherish so much. We get looked at differently because of the stereotypes. I think within our society as a whole, we have seen a minority as a weakness rather than a strength. Minorities aren't being represented like the best on the media. They're still enforcing all these stereotypes. There's a lot of like POC um, characters which get like one or two character traits um, and then like people tend to assume that like everyone in that like cultural group has to be that way. People acting or looking different from the norm, they often treat those people differently even if they don't know why and even when they learn why, they still often treat us differently. Uh, sometimes people don't understand how difficult it is or how different it is to exist in an environment where there's only a few people who look like you. So this particular project is an opportunity for those students to express in an artistic form uh, who they are, a little bit about their culture, um, their voice comes out in the, in the painting and we feel like that's a great way to express themselves, especially for students who may be quiet and may be introverted and uh, don't really have the actual uh, vocal voice uh, every day in school setting, but this is something that can do that for them, can speak for them. One of our hopes is that the mural will make known to the community about our heritage, um, where we came from, so that they can see beyond the surface and um, and know that we have a lot in common. My job is to keep them invested in the process and trusting in the process because if, if they trust in that process, they will get to the point where they will understand that those voices that they're hearing is their own voice. But it's not coming from them. It's coming from an Asian colleague. It's coming from a Caucasian colleague. It's coming from a gay colleague. It's coming from uh, someone other than themselves, but it is their voice. I try to have the mindset of trust the process. I was thinking about this last night and like I didn't like it because it reminded me of such a like elementary school concept. Like the hands all over the bulletin board and I'm like very innocent, very childlike. And I didn't want that for the mural because childlike reflects innocence or doesn't reflect what we're trying to do. We're trying to reflect struggle and like combating that struggle. But then I was thinking, I was like, I got so emotional because of that part because it reminded me of the innocence that I have and like as a child, as a kid, I didn't feel like I had a community. I didn't feel like I belonged anywhere. And like, I got so emotional because it reminded me like, I finally was able to bring that um, sense of community. I finally felt like I had a home within our school. It's so nice to see everyone here. Especially in a place where we don't actually belong a lot of the time. And we might not always agree. <laughs> But um, I decided to put like white on the inside to like, because we're all pure at heart. And I chose red to represent the love and the passion that I carry throughout my life and through my family. I chose white to represent the purity there is in the world and that it needs to be more exposed to everyone. And I chose green because for me, green represents nature and nature connects us throughout the entire world. Well, I chose blue and green for my love and my hope for the earth. This is a helping hand. It's a loving hand, a passionate hand, a compassionate hand. It's here to service. And the pink represents the woman in my family, and then my mother and my grandmother, and all the women who kind of shaped who I am.
Me and Sydney are models within the painting. I represent the modern, new society and era, and she represents more of the past and like history. We are facing each other and bowing, which shows that we are respecting the future as well as the past, and we are learning from our mistakes. My face is on the woman wearing a sari, which is like an Indian outfit for women and we'll have like different faces of different students but they're supposed to represent different cultures. Everyone has gotten a chance to put their like mark on this mural. I focus mainly on the grass which is like seen in basically every other panel and I'm very proud of that grass. <laughs> Leadership takes time. It takes I guess moments in life where you struggle the most, it takes being vulnerable, leaning on others, and learning how to, I guess, also be able to stand on yourself while being able to rely on others. Something that I've learned through the process with like my peers is like how to communicate with each other and kind of ask questions of like, does this look good on the painting and how does this work out together? Part of my process is to let them be comfortable, but also let them be challenged. This isn't really about art. It's not really about technique. It's not really about any of these other things. These are the minutes of discussions that we had about gender, about justice, about equality, about inclusion, about patriarchy, about matriarchy, about all of these important issues that these students are talking about. This project has been eye-opening for me because I'm watching this uh, group of students create a whole nother community within our school. They work so well together. Um, they're, they're learning about each other. They're understanding each other's voices. It's been really wonderful to see a group of students express that type of leadership in a school. I think overall this is a unified you know, effort and what I want students, I want families to kind of feel is a sort of welcoming um, into the hallways of, of Hersey, you know, to, to see some kind of representation, something that they can align to uh, and feel that they belong here. I am extremely proud of our students because they have not only risen to the challenge, but they have taken a leadership role to bringing everyone together in a school that some of them didn't feel it was their home. The message of the mural is togetherness, and it's that everyone's beautiful in their own way, no matter their ethnicity or culture, and their ethnicity and culture should be recognized instead of like put behind and forgotten about because that's what makes them beautiful and unique. Even though like we come from different, or our families come from different parts of like the world, like we are like we're all like really similar, like a lot more similar than we thought we were. Even though we're all different, we all have our different cultures, different backgrounds, different experiences. We're also living on the same planet, and we are all going through the same thing. It's okay to be different. That it's okay to share your experiences, and not want to assimilate. What better way to make the community a more safe environment for everyone than for them to feel that they're part of this school, that they have a sense of belonging, and that they too can be leaders. And that I think is the best part of this program. I think now everyone is like, um, almost like a family, which I, honestly is the, is the process of coming together um, as a community, and the mural was that avenue to bring us all together.